G'day everyone, welcome back. This is episode 15 of my preview series of the 1904 Imperial Sunrise Campaign for Strategic Command Civil War. This turn will be September 28th, 1904. I command the Russians and Old Crow Balthazar is commanding the Japanese. The bad weather's about to start, so this is bound to be very interesting. Hello there. Cruiser didn't do too badly against the torpedo boat, actually. Whoa! That was a lot of damage. Making him pay for every inch of ground he tries to take. Whoa! Seven! Again! That, that's a lot of losses. We'll have to be careful about how we do this. Whoa. He obviously didn't scout that out properly. Not like him to make a... Mistake that costly. Your High Excellency, we're, we're the um, Viceroy of the Far East, a uh, bloke named Alexiev. Um, so, not not quite the Tsar, but the guy immediately below him in this area. Um, the changing situation has led the Tsar to believe the redeployment of the Baltic Fleet to the Far East is now desirable. Now named the 2nd Pacific Squadron, these ships will set sail for the Far East shortly. I expect the 18,000 mile voyage will take at least 8 months to complete, so you should expect these ships to arrive in the East China Sea in May 1905. When they arrive in the theatre, they will be placed under your command. Um, so that's when they departed historically. They're going to appear round about here on turn 30. Uh, as the message indicates, we get full command of them once they arrive. So, be nice if the Tsar decided that it'd be a good idea to send them, you know, when we still had a fleet in Port Arthur, but... Well, historically it was a bit of a mess just getting them out of port, so... Not sure if they really could have done it much faster than they did. So, we've got to think about what we can do here. I can build two new units. That might be the best course of action. I don't have a lot of damaged things. But I do have... These, I'm pretty sure all of these guys are, um... These, these towns, they, they're not defended. Because he has an awful lot of units concentrated here, which is wise. But you do need to garrison Korea as well. If the weather permits next turn, I might just go throw everything ham hung. So I get that, that knocks his fighting spirit down by 10%. It'll make quite a bit of difference at this point in the war. Smash that up. Seeing as he's willing to get ambushed, I'm not going to pass up an opportunity to knock out another division. Then build two new cores. Reinforce this as far as I can. Full strength, that's all good. And you have a couple of shells. So if he wants to attack Mukden, he's got to get through this as well. A and that's also fully entrenched. It's about as good positions we're going to get. Now, what I do following this still to decide but I've got plenty of reinforcements coming so next turn I get two cores and the cavalry that will be a very valuable addition to the army and then I think we let the mud slow him down from there soon I imagine he's gonna start actually attacking the Port Arthur defenses I'm gonna start bombarding his attackers with my fortress if he does that Uh, 
Now, do we have anything else we can do this turn? I suppose it's possible to send you there. But I'm not sure that's worthwhile because if he, if he does have something ham hung, and he may, he doesn't have a lot of units to spare, but I imagine it's possible he could have a brigade there. If he does that, I probably don't want to overcommit because I do still need to watch out for the possibility the lands and tries to capture Vladivostok via Amphib Assault. He could do it. Um, if he pulled it off, it'd be a major, major swing in the balance of the game, so... But I'd, I'd like to get Ham Hung. That'd, that'd throw his plans way off. If I got that. One Sun as well, if possible. That might be a bit too ambitious. That's plenty of time for him to send units in by, by the point I get to there. Well, I'll see what's in Hamhung next turn. Go from there, I think. Here. Just go wait for him to attack and let him face my artillery. <laughs> and hopefully get ambushed by something again. <laughs> That'd be very nice if he, if he did. So I think that's all we can do for this turn. Got to pray for the worst weather imaginable for him. Hey Zeus, if you're listening, now's the time to really trash the weather. Let, let's see what Zeus does, hey? Does he favour us? Uh, looks like he's just keeping the rain as it is. Well, could be better. Could be worse though. Right, well, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.